They wear the same clothes, they ride the same bikes, they are identical in almost every way. But Olivia has had leukemia, Isabella has remained healthy, a difference that has enabled doctors to compare their blood and for the first time identify abnormal stem cells that fuel the cancer. It could lead to a cure without the toxic side effects of current chemotherapy drugs. Any kind of result from this research would be very, very positive and I know that any next family will welcome uh, less chemo because um, they just, you just don't want to see your child have to, be, have, to have to go through that. The twins will be five next month, but when Olivia was diagnosed aged three, doctors realised they could unravel the key early stages of leukaemia by comparing her to her identical twin. Both girls have the same genetically abnormal pre-leukemic cells in their bone marrow as a result of a mutation that happened in their mother's womb. In Isabella, those cells lay dormant, but in Olivia, an unknown trigger, possibly a childhood virus, transformed them into abnormal stem cells. Olivia's bone marrow released these aggressive cells into her blood, causing leukemia. Drugs for leukemia are now so effective that around 90% of children survive. But doctors know that they're over-treating some children and the drugs they use are so toxic that a small number will actually die from the treatment itself. Now that doctors have these stem cells, they can monitor the disease and know precisely when to stop treatment. What we'd like to do next is look at the leukemia stem cells during treatment and see whether they've gone. If we identify in some patients that they just disappear very quickly, they're probably going to be cured. Otherwise, if they sort of linger around, they're going to be at a much higher chance of, chance of relapse. Car, bad. Olivia's now in remission and she's growing stronger by the day. Two happy girls with everything to look forward to, whose blood may have helped find a cure for the commonest childhood cancer. Thomas Moore, Sky News.